What's going on everybody? It's your boy Insane Blaine coming to you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This evening I'm going to two haunts. The first stop is Castle Blood. Um, I'm not sure if I can film inside. I'm ask when I show my ticket up at the desk. But um, if not, I'll show you what I can show you and I'll give my full rate review. So let's check out the sights and sounds. This is what uh, the building looks like. It's on the side of the road. Looks pretty cool. It looks like a big old school mansion. Looks brutal. But yeah. Cool. I've never been here before, so. Um, I'm excited to check it out. Hopefully it's good. Um, I purchased my ticket online. It was like 27 bucks. But um, yeah. Let's, let's go see what we can see. Alright, you guys. So I got some photo ops. I I'm not allowed to film inside, but I will do my full rate and review. It's pretty cool. I guess this is an actual old, 100-year-old funeral home. And, yeah, they're celebrating their 30 years of haunting. Um, it's been uh, five years at this location. It looks pretty cool. Like the scenery, how it's set dressed. Cool gargoyles up there. Cool, cool old school lamp. Yeah, right here. It says, celebrating 30 years of Halloween the way it ought to be. Thank you. So sweet. So, yeah, I got about a little bit of time before um, I go in. It's about 7.50, and my ticket was for 8.15. So, yeah, I was talking to a couple of scare actors, very nice people, letting them know, you know, my future plans of wanting to own a haunted attraction and stuff. So we were chit-chatting about that. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be fun. After this one, I'm going to another haunt that's about five minutes away. It's called uh, the Demon House. So, yeah, two great haunts, hopefully, right next to each other. Can't beat that. And I'm actually only about a half hour away from, um, what's it called? Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Haunted Hills Estate, which they have two houses and a trail. Um, I did a walkthrough last year. You can check out my video for that. And then also there is uh, Terror Terror Taverns real close by here too. So there's multiple haunts in uh, Western PA you can come check out. But yeah, I'm going to take some uh, photos and I'll post them at the end of the video. So I'm going to put you guys on hold. So, okay, you guys, here's a cool view um, where you get the front of the funeral home. They got the Castle Blood sign, and you go in right over there. You wait in line. If you got your tickets online, you go in through there, and then if not, the ticket booth's on the other side. This is pretty cool. I like I like this old school, sweet looking building. I'm gonna, yeah. So I'll walk around to this side and show you guys. So I guess I was speaking to one of the actors here and he said they're very actor driven. He said basically their haunt was an escape room, is an escape room, and they started it before escape rooms were even a thing. So basically you have clues in each room and you're trying to find certain things in each room. And there are some good scares, jump scares and stuff he said, but basically there are things that you need to find in each room as you travel throughout the haunt. So it sounds pretty fun, I'm excited. Tell me about what you have time for. Oh okay. <laughs> What is a uh, time of time? 8.15. Hmm? 8.15. And what is last name? Washington. Washington, outstanding. Now we are having conversation. <laughs> And the cute line, guys. Do, 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 tracking in. Right? Yep. Take your time. All right, you guys, we're getting ready to go in. They're reading us the rules. I'm not allowed to film inside, so I'm basically just showing you guys the waiting room. Looks pretty cool. Ceilings even got spider webs everywhere. So yeah, when I get done, I'll get my full rate. So okay, everybody, I just finished uh, my walkthrough of uh, Castle Blood. Um, it was not what I was expecting at all, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was, it was a lot of fun. There were some good jump scares, too, mixed in with it, but it was a lot of fun. Um, 
yeah, it took about an hour to get through the whole thing. Uh, in my group, there were six people. And basically, each room and set that you go into, you have different tasks or riddles or puzzles that you have to complete. All horror-themed and all themed differently. Um, I got one of the tasks right myself. Well, basically, we all worked together most of the time, but the one, nobody in my group knew what it was, and I got it right. So, well, no, it's not that they didn't know what it was, but they weren't sure which what the right answer was, and I kind of use process of elimination and got it right um but yeah it was great um i highly recommend coming and checking this out especially if you want to do something different than a regular styled haunted attraction um like i said there are some jump scares the sets and props are phenomenal they're great but um this one you have to think a little bit and i would say you can bring kids this it's uh family friendly but it was really fun and it was 27 bucks for the money you can't beat it i would have paid 50 or 60 bucks to come it was that good so Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. That will help my channel grow, as well as let you know when new videos come out. I'm Insane Blaine, and I'm out. On to the next one.